Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Luisa and in today's video we are gonna do a chill video just reflecting on 2020 and I'm gonna tell you what things I've learned in 2020. Surprisingly, this year wasn't too bad for me. Like, I don't want to invalidate the old situation but I think I've grown a lot as a person. So that's definitely something positive. It's the first time that I do something like this and I think it's really important for everyone to do a little bit introspection just came up with one thing that I've learned in this year and please comment it down below I will be really curious to read them first things first remember to subscribe leave a like if you're enjoying vlogmas and we are on day 18 I think is it is it day 18 yes it's day 18 so without further ado Let's get on with the video. I came up with this talking with my friends and it was really fun to see their perspective on me. So um, the first thing I wrote down is I've learned to let go all the toxicity in my life. As I said in another video, this year I've quit swimming and it was my sport. I was really like dedicated to it. It was pretty professional athlete. But yeah, this year I've decided to quit it because it was for a couple of months that I wasn't happy. I didn't like the environment. I was in anymore. I did suffer a lot of loneliness and but at the same time with Ming is what I loved so that was difficult and definitely taught me a lot of stuff and I'm about to get in them later and then so I would encourage you guys to let go of this toxicity in your life. Then I have if you don't like the situation you are in remember that you can change it. That's connected to the things I've said. I know sometimes change can be terrifying. I definitely experienced that but I the end of the day um, I'm really glad I took the de decision and it came to much better things in my life so you need to let go of that one of this situation then uh, I've never regret anything that has happened in your life it cannot be changed or done or forgotten so take it as a lesson and move on I read identify this with this because um, you know I used to stress a lot about the things that I could have done better that you know that uh, just weren't perfect or that happened and I now realize that I have to just move on do better learn and take it as a lesson then I have a plan everything in advance I've learned this the hard way with my C1 exam you know if you haven't seen the video check it out but yeah I had the two they noticed for that exam and I didn't plan well my studying so I was really stressed about it of course but that uh, taught me that uh, anything can happen that uh, you I should always leave room for the unexpected, unexpected things and plan so I don't get too busy then I have do not be afraid of change which is connected to the to my swimming experience you know I was really scared of changing because I've been doing that for 12 years and that was the main thing I always done that and I didn't know what to do if I quitted but at the same time I wasn't happy so it didn't make sense yeah and then um, the other I have I trust the timing of your life I do believe uh, like you can be the master of your own destiny but also like some things are meant to be so you should trust the process and don't stress too much then I have a lesson that I haven't fully you know learned how to apply but for sure no it's true and then don't let fear of the judgment of others people control your life at the end of the day this whole situation this 2020 taught us that life is short so better to be you know to to be the master of our own like life than then um, having people of fear control us and uh, you know then i've learned that i that i don't let my i don't let my grades define me anymore i used to be really attached to, to my grade but for some reason this year um, i'm like uh it's not like i don't care anymore but uh I don't think that my worth is attached to the grade that I get. It's okay to have bad days, it's okay to have a bad performance on a test, but that doesn't mean that I'm worth like that mark, you know? Uh, yeah, I also learned that I can't focus during online classes, but I do like to like do my own things and be able to organize myself, to have a little bit of flexibility, but I just can't concentrate. I need 
to work on that on 2021. Then this is all connected to that experience between swimming and stuff like that and uh, you know that one experience that really changed me this year is you must remove toxicity from your life to make room for new goodness and I think it's like this is like re resumes really well everything that's happened to me this year with this YouTube channel that I'm really proud of and the you know being able to just quit swimming swimming that wasn't serving me anymore so yeah then I have if you have uh, around people who make you feel guilty for being yours you those aren't your people this goes back to swimming I know I've said it all so many times but I just didn't feel like I belonged in that environment I always felt alone like people didn't understand me and there were very few people that got me but then they quit also so I didn't feel happy and then recognizing small moments see what creates memories appreciate them, appreciate them as they're happening I do think this is really important you need when I try to do this when I like with my friends and family sometimes or even in general like when I'm a particular place I like to slow down like stop and breathe uh, slowly I think just uh, recognizing that this is an important moment it makes you like remember the thing because if we like go fast all the time we like we don't put attention to the small details that are the things that are important and be present is really important especially this year so these are all the things I've learned in 2020 and uh, I think I've really grown as a person this year I think I am at a place that I'm really proud of who I am and I do realize that the insecurity I felt in the past year reflected on my like behavior towards other people so I would say also I remember that if you are insecure and I do the really recognize, recognize, recognize this in myself you tend to reflect it to other people so like make I do feel you have to do a lot of self-discovery and acceptance to be able to just upset yourself so you don't have to be mean to other people and I realized it this year that uh, um, that now that I'm happy with myself I don't feel the need to attack other people like, when I'm and say attack it was lots it's like I have mean uh, thoughts and words for them but you know self it's a it's a journey we are on the same journey and if you're not there yet me neither I'm not completely like confident yet but I do want to say that I've, re I've noticed that as you get older you know you just you just see more you just feel more confident and it's a thing that I wish a 13 year old Luisa would have known but yeah, that's it for today's video. This is all just a bunch of thoughts I have during this year and in life in general. But I hope this was helpful. And for, don't forget to leave um, a, a comment down below to one lesson you learned this year. And uh, I'll see you in the next vlogmas. Bye!